what is fundamentally changing in 5G? Why would the small cell story be different this time around? So originally, something like 4G or even 3G, the idea of small cell was that instead of having these large base stations that need a cell tower, a lot of power, perhaps there is an application and there is a better total cost of ownership if you just put in a bunch of smaller cells and, and then make the coverage better, in, particularly in a dense environment. That was the thinking. It turns out that it's not that simple. The reason is it costs a lot of money to go install things. And more than anything is the, the business case. They thought it would be, there would be a business case for it. There's an ROI for it. It turns out there wasn't. Uh, I think that's something that is kind of accepted at this point for, for regular run-of-the-mill 5G small cell world. It's not zero, there's some volume here. Then now 5G, is this any different, okay? Going to the evolutionary part, I don't see it being that different. I think it's just the same kind of thing. Maybe you will get a little bit more. The revolutionary part is interesting. There is, the, that's the, an indoor type of application. It's a campus network or a, um, a, a venue setting. You are now talking about something that is got to be indoor. You can't put a big cell tower inside. And, and it's also management wise, it's managed by an enterprise, managed by an IT person. So the, it has to fit the power envelope, cost envelope, simplicity of managing that thing like Wi-Fi. So, so that is small cell. So, so there is that part. Um, now that hasn't happened yet, right? But we do see a lot of interest now. I see more small cell indoor than I see outdoor.